for best performance by an actor in a supporting role. Sterling K. Brown in American <laughs> Fiction. With the B, it meant that the Emmy, Golden Globe, and Screen Actors Guild Award winner was the first name read when the Oscar nominees for Best Supporting Actor were announced, but only one name will be said on March 10th. I know that I'm not going to win. Really? Yeah, and I'm fine with it. I know that. I'm totally fine with it. Okay. <laughs> exactly. I'm totally fine with it. Yeah, the American Fiction Supporting Actor does not expect to be making his way to the podium in the Dolby Theater. Robert Downey Jr. is going to win. And he's incredibly deserving. Yeah, Sterling is throwing his weight behind the Oppenheimer star. And the critic's choice is... Robert Downey Jr. Who already bested Sterling at the Critics' Choice Awards and also won the Golden Globe, which Sterling did not make the final six for. He's an incredible actor. Like, you should give him love. Well, this is Sterling's first Academy Award nod. Robert's on his third. His first was in 1991. Robert, uh, you got an Oscar nomination when you were 26 or so. Mr. Ritten? Nobody. You're 26 when you did Chaplin? <laughs> During a recent Screen Actors Guild Award chat with three of the Best Sporting Actor nominees at that ceremony, Sterling couldn't help but ask Robert about the role that got him his second Oscar nod. I don't believe you people. Huh. What do you mean, you people? Uh, Tropic Thunder is one of my favorites, and it's <laughs> one of my favorite performances. How, how were you not scared out of your blanking mind, like, doing it? Like, were you? Were you not? What do you mean, you people? Huh? I, I think what uh, Tug oh, means is you no, people, look you at actors, ass, man. you people. Exactly. Look at that, BD. Why are you talking to me? I knew that we were just about to exit the age of rationality for what intent was. But I also, I couldn't resist the possibility of being black for a summer. It's high science, man. It's art form. Yeah. You an artist. Mm. I don't, I just want how many times my wife and I say, I don't read the script, script reads me. I don't read the script, script read me. And you got any tips? You got any tips? In the tips? Yet. What? In the tips you like, got? You know, like a... That, that <laughs> lives in the Brown household. <laughs> in perpetuity. I, I, thank you. Boy, thank you, thank you. I just needed to clown the, uh, the, the underserved area of actors are so fucking stupid. <laughs> and the fact that I get a chance to be nominated along with him and Mr. De Niro and Ryan Gosling and, and Ruffalo, I'm just happy to be in the room. Yeah, I love Strange Approach to this. For somebody who's been watching the Oscars their whole life, um, I've never been. It's an honor to get the invite, right? Like, really, truly. Yeah, what do you think of him kind of throwing in a towel when it comes to competing against Robert at the Academy Awards? And by the way, during that psych chat, Robert was a big fan of Sterling's work too. Poor Things, American Fiction, Oppenheimer, and The Zone of Interest are my personal four favorites of the year, so this is just great. People want to love you, Monk. You should let them love all of you. Sterling, particularly, dude, I just think the, the that search for your character's authenticity, I just felt it in a way that was so like, I don't know, I don't, I just related to it so much while it being so different from my own life and experience. Anyway, Thanks, um, 